Hi there, my name is Jay from Affiliate Resources and today I want to talk to you about how to cancel a HostGator package in three steps. Step number one, the first thing that you need to do is make sure you know which package you are canceling. And the reason why I say that is because there may be a situation where you have more than one package within your HostGator account. So this way you go into your HostGator control panel Take a look at the one that you actually want to cancel, which is usually associated by a domain name and also a package ID. One of the great things inside the HostGator control panel is that it does give you the actual renewal date so that you can get an idea as to when you need to do this. Step two, once you have the actual package ID, you then need to open up a chat window inside HostGator Live Chat. This is located on the home page on the top right screen. When you go in, be prepared to wait for a few minutes. Depending on the day, it might be just a few moments or it might be, you know, literally 30 minutes. Uh, you can keep the window open because when someone comes onto the live chat area, a little ding will happen. So you can make sure you have your speakers turned on. Once there's an attendee within the chat window, you begin to tell them that you want to cancel the HostGator package with that particular package ID. They will then begin to reply by saying, sorry to hear that you're leaving and can you explain why you wanna go? They may even throw in an offer the here or to, here or to. Uh, my suggestion to you is to just ignore those and just say, you know, everything, the service is great and that you've merged all your hosting into one account. Once they've decided that they can't upsell you or keep you any longer, they will then begin to say uh, that they're gonna open up a couple support tickets one is to confirm that you've done this with that particular chat person, two uh, inside the actual technical area within the support portal. Uh, and that's really all you need to do. Now step three, which is optional, make sure you cancel your PayPal subscription. So now this is only if you actually have paid with PayPal. If you haven't, then you don't need to worry about it. But if you do, you need to go into your PayPal account and go to your subscription settings. These are all the, this is the area where it shows all of your subscription payments inside your HostGator, inside your PayPal account. Uh, the great thing is the support tickets that get sent to you upon the, uh, the, the finishing of the live chat, uh, there is instructions on how to cancel that particular uh, portion of your PayPal account. Um, if you did actually pay with PayPal. And that's it. And that's as simple as it is. My name is Jay and thanks for watching.